it's giving you literally four different viewpoints of the anatomy for which to study from. Most books give you one, maybe two. So let's go ahead and check out this book, Anatomy for Artists, A Visual Guide to the Human Form. Again, this is 3D Total Publishing. It looks like they're starting out here with a history of anatomy. Uh, it gets into a lot of the, the medical side of anatomy, which is inescapable. You're going to have to know a little bit of that, and it's probably healthy to know a little bit of the history behind the subject that you're studying. In order to draw things in, with confidence and draw things convincingly and with believability, you have to understand those things. If you just understand them in, in, the, in the point of their surface qualities, uh, just through observation, mere observation, and you don't understand the mechanics behind the way that the thing works, it's difficult to show that thing visually and have it be believable. Uh, another part of this book is creative poses, which I think is really cool because too many anatomy books are focused on just the body at rest, uh, these very stiff poses, again, almost like a, a book that would be a, for a doctor, someone who is in the medical field. The quality of the book itself is, is quite nice. Uh, I enjoy the, the paper. Um, it's nice and heavy, hardcover. There's a foreword here by an artist and instructor, Jacob Hankinson, and a beautiful drawing here that I would assume is, is by the artist who wrote the foreword. So we kind of get into the history of anatomy with this introduction talking about the the terminology, the anterior view, the posterior view. Um, we've got the movement, the skeleton from a lateral view and an anterior view, and then the extension and inflection of joints and bones and muscles. This really jumps right into some heavy stuff. Another thing that I wanted to kind of address or look at is when people who are non-artists or someone who is a young artist who maybe lacks some of the maturity that you you will need will maybe take a look at this book you know parents if if you have a young artist that is uh aspiring to be an artist and someone told them they needed to study up on anatomy and you're looking for a good book for them this has a lot of nudity in it. Obviously, when we're talking about the human form and we're talking about anatomy, we're going to be looking at some nudity. So prepare yourself for that. This is not a PG-13 anatomy book. This is definitely an, a book that is more for adult artists that can handle that sort of a subject. That being said, it's not that there are not people that exist with the maturity that are at a younger age. My first life drawing class from a nude model was when I was 17 years old, which people might argue with, I was, you know, not ready for that maturity wise. That, that's just part of it. It's like saying you want to study automotive engineering and then uh, telling people you don't want to deal with anything under the hood. All right, so moving forward, um, there's some great illustrations in here of the skeleton and the way that the bones move where again it's showing you things in a neutral position and then it's also showing you when you're going to elevate or depress the the shoulders when you're going to retract the shoulders or protract the shoulders uh, there's pronation supination again it's really heavy into those anatomical uh, terms but i will say that i enjoy the fact that it's getting right into the movement and not so much into the names of the bones, the names of the muscles, the deep muscles that we're not as concerned with. Uh, it, it jumps right into things that are useful for an artist. Okay, so I think that is a key here with this particular book uh, that makes it something that I would recommend is that it does get into the detail, it does get into the weeds here, it does get into the, you know, the specifics of what's going on but it does so from a standpoint that it is useful to an artist, not just to a physical therapist or someone who is a surgeon or someone who you know, is going to be concerned with the medical side of things. So 
I also love a page like this that, that really takes into account the way that the different joints in the body move, these gliding joints and pivot joints, the hinge joint, right? And they're simplifying it. I think this is key, is that they're simplifying these things and showing you how basic shapes can work, right? They're almost taking these really complex joint systems that the human form has and they're making it in a very clear manner that almost looks like a plunger or some plumbing, right? Or a hinge on a door. Uh, in giving you that sort of visual frame of reference really, I think, helps to explain what's going on here. And they're breaking these things down. So it does have the information as to like which one of these bones or what the, the actual name of them are, the, the official name, the femur and patella and fibula and tibia, and they're color coordinated also, or color coded. Also, they show you how if you disassemble this part, and put it back together how this works, how it bends, how it moves. The skeleton and bony landmarks. Okay, so the skeleton, awesome to study the skeleton. Great if you can go through and name all the bones. Totally necessary, maybe not, but it's nice to have that information, I think. Another thing that I find interesting or really great about this book in particular is that they're focusing on the bony landmarks. The bony landmarks are the things that we can sort of see on the skeleton, almost like a road map would have landmarks where we can kind of map them out and say, oh, I can see this on the outside of the form and I can kind of measure things accordingly. These overlays are really nice where it, it's showing you an actual photograph and then they've taken the time to illustrate under the skin. I think this is a really super way of doing it and I, this is the primary thing that I think is awesome about this book. That is how they go about combining photography with the structure in this sort of overlaying fashion. Something like this is awesome. A page like this is so useful and I wish I would have had something like this when I was starting to study anatomy. The photograph and then the transparent overlay, almost like he's wearing a sheer muscle t-shirt here that is his own structure, a tracing. This is wonderful to study from. It makes this book end up on another tier. It brings it up several notches because you can study the human form in the, the surfaces from a nude model. You can study the, the, the anatomy you can study the musculature, you can study the skeleton, but I have not really seen too many places that take all of these things with the photography, the musculature, and the skeletal anatomy, and put them all together in one reference, in one place. So that in itself is something that would, would cause me to really recommend this book. I'm really happy to have it, and I can't wait to utilize this in my own studies. Now there are some books that do a really nice job of this and really breaking down the shape language or the, or the basic shapes, the foundation of the way that these muscles interlock. Uh, but this is another one. So this is adding to that reference. So it's talking about the arrangement of the pectoral muscles here, uh, the wrapping of the latissimus, uh, the back, which is a very complex area. Again, you have the skin and you have the muscle to study from, which is the ultimate resource, I think. I think they've really tapped into something here that makes this book, uh, again, end up on another tier. Now this next portion is, again, what I would like to, let me find a really good page here that sort of uh, illustrates this for us. Um, probably something like this would be good. So this is ultimately awesome because it is showing you the planes. It is showing you an, a linear view of that same pose. It's showing you the photography of the pose. It's giving you literally four different viewpoints of the anatomy for which to study from. Most books give you one, maybe two but I have not seen things broken down into this planar uh, polygonal sort of mapping, also giving you 
a simplification that is linear, the photography and the musculature all on the same same page, on the same pose, with the same figure. So this is the part of the book that I really wanted to highlight. The fact that they're giving us all of these poses, all these different views of the anatomy, and they're showing us these views in all of these different ways. So a 3D artist who is getting into modeling the figure and is concerned with the makeup of the facets and planes, awesome, got it. Uh, an artist who is more of a 2D artist that, or more of an illustrator is interested in the way that you could break down the form into a linear fashion. How can, what's the shorthand for breaking down the muscles that we're seeing? But we're seeing the muscles broken down in this fashion and we're seeing the form itself in photography. We're seeing the musculature with this transparent trace over of how the muscles are working below the skin. So you're peeling back the skin now and seeing this. And then we have our planes, how they would catch the light, how these forms are going to work. Three-dimensional, two-dimensional, through the photograph showing us the structure and explaining it and being able to look at the actual photograph to find out why it looks this way. If I just try to copy something, I'm going to be looking at the arm and go, okay, there's a bump there and okay, I get that that's supposed to be three dimensional. Why is that happening? Well, let's look in this area here and see what's going on with the muscles, what's going on with the insertions, what's going on with which part is overlapping which muscle, how are they going to move and interact? This is a machine that we have to break down. We need to know the why. So this is the what, this is the why, and these are the how. How am I going to simplify it two-dimensionally in a linear fashion? And how am I going to simplify it and explain the form uh, in a polygon model? I'm really, really big on something like this where I'm you know, struggling with a particular pose, a particular p position of the muscles and how it works. Um, now I have somewhere to go to kind of study that and break it down and see it illustrated in four different manners. This is the best part of the book, I will tell you that. So we do have the same type of situation here where we've got the photography, we've got the splayed or flayed, I don't know, it's splayed, I think, uh, peel the skin back and see the musculature. We've got the simplification, the illustration, and this is using a line, and then we've got the explanation in terms of the planes and the way that the light would strike those different planes in this particular lighting situation. You've got the male and the female. Awesome. I mean, they've even gone so far is to take the hair off of two of these. So you could really study what's going on here with the structure of the human head. Okay, moving forward with the book, more of these really great references of the human head. Again, I had said earlier that I think there are better books for um, studying the head itself or to study portraiture, but I don't know if there are any books that dive this deeply into giving you so many different ways of looking at it. So this is an addition, a great addition to any library, even if you're not someone who is necessarily studying the figure in its entirety, but if you're really focused on portraiture, I think it's great. The features of the face, it's breaking down that as well. Uh, you're going to probably look to another book to get some of the education and the explanation and the verbiage if, you, if that's your uh, mode of learning. Uh, but this one, if you kind of have that, if you're armed with that already, I think checking out something like this and seeing how the nose can be broken down and which one of these you want to utilize or utilize all of them simultaneously. So we've got some stuff on the nose from different angles. Um, really nice, high quality, high resolution images here. Um, really well done illustrations and overlays. 
just a, a great explanation. I love this. I mean, I would use this in a class if I was uh, trying to help students break down the structure of the eye and the skeleton and the way that that whole uh, that whole area of the body, that whole feature of the face works together. Um, these are just great explanations. Like I said before, if the if the nudity thing is something that you're you know you're not really you're not really ready for, be prepared that this book is about the human form and in order to study the human form, it has to be unclothed. So um, yeah just just so people know that. I wouldn't want to see someone uh, buy this book for their you know 11 year old that wants to be a comic book artist and, and someone told them, you know, study the figure um, or just know what you're getting getting into there. So for mature audiences, for sure. I love the creative poses section because it's giving you these classical standing and seated poses, really great dynamic active posing that is going to help us see it in four different ways. I think that's just really amazing is taking the pose, not just taking a static figure that's standing in front of us, looking at it from the front, looking at it from the side and then having to decipher all that information or translate it or turn it in our minds. Here, it's really, it's right here. It's laid out for you. Again, I would have been really happy to have a book like this in my library a long time ago. I'm gonna put this into use right away. I mean, if you don't have access to live models, something like this book is, is essential. Yeah, I just haven't seen it presented in this form, which is just very thorough and has so much information packed into it. Really overall, just a super great job uh, by 3D Total Publishing, putting together this book of the human form. I highly recommend it for mature audiences, for anyone who's looking to study the figure really in depth, right? You, you, we're not playing around here at this point. Um, I think you do need to have a little bit of background in the figure before you, you dive into this. I think you can't, you, you know, this is not something that I would recommend for a beginner right off the bat. I think this is something that after you spend some time and some many hours studying the human form, that you move into something like this and you go, okay, now, how am I going to simplify this complex machine into a, a linear drawing? How am I going to model a drawing? How am I going to render the human form either in a 3D fashion or in a two-dimensional fashion? So they're giving you both of these in addition to the fact that they're giving you the overlay of the musculature in the photograph of where it came from. Being able to cross-reference, uh, that is definitely uh, the key to this. I think that is where this book really shines. So again, highly recommended, um, beautiful book, very well put together. Uh, I'm super excited that I was um, given a copy of this to review. I will be linking to it in the comments below. If anyone has any questions or comments or thoughts about anatomy, uh, about this book in particular, please do not hesitate to comment. All right, take care. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Like, there's like a little button that they put on the laptop or something, and then they say click it, and then you can never even miss a video. Hmm. That's if you subscribe. <laughs>